Hey guys, John here, aka the RC Gearhead. Just want to do a little um, in between a of my other video with the WL Toys. I wanted to post up a kind of overview um, of a couple of my vehicles. I'm going to start doing this to kind of show what I've got going on in my uh, personal RC collection. Uh, so what we've got here on the left is the uh, Tacon uh, Thriller, which is also known as the LC Racing. EMB dash SCT, I believe, and over here is the my Tac on Valor, or under its LC Racing name is the LC Racing EMB dash MT. So, and the reasoning for the two names is through Tac on RC, they're sold through uh, NitroRCX.com, uh, but before you know their original name and brand is on is under the LC Racing name so let's start with the uh, Thriller <clears throat> short course truck here so <clears throat> now obviously mine is not stock it has a kind of a generic looking um, short course truck body normally it has uh, different different tires um, and what I've done to it is this is actually a Proline Stampede uh, for, uh, 66 F100 uh, pickup truck body. And this was kind of a hit and miss. I didn't know what exactly was going to fit. So uh, I just decided to kind of pick one based on the measurements of and wheelbase of the uh, Thriller <clears throat> and based on the measurements of the um, uh, Stampede. So these are actually a, considered a 1 14th scale um, vehicles. All of Tacon vehicles are 1 14th scale except their uh, Ranger rally car and that's considered 1 12th scale based on the body. So <clears throat> digging in here you can see that uh, there's a lot of all this red aluminum all over the truck is all all come stock on the brushless version. The only thing I've added under here is uh, this, I believe it's an Intigy uh, red motor fan and heat sink. I've added that, and then I've soldered uh, Dean's plugs onto it. Uh, other than that, the chassis is stock. Uh, as you can see, it's all, all aluminum plate chassis. <clears throat> and uh, get a side view of it here. Now, it's a really nice uh, low center of gravity platform. So it's it's positioned really really well for what it's supposed to do. Um, it handles really well. The shocks are really nice. <clears throat> got a nice rebound. Um, plus with the Thriller, what I really like is it's got these uh, mud flaps factory installed. <clears throat> um, the next thing out you can see here is I've got a I believe this is a 2200 milliamp. Florian uh, 30C2S uh, Dean's lipo, uh, Dean's plug lipo, and I really like these batteries. They perform really well. Uh, they fit nicely into the stock battery location. I had to trim a little bit of the uh, battery posts off, or not the battery uh, little plastic holders in here to get this to fit, but it does fit fine. <clears throat> um, the other thing I've got going on here are these tires. These are actually from uh, these from Amazon. The tires a friend of mine told me about. Uh, he he uses them he uh, he uses them on his, and they perform really well. I like them a lot. And then the wheels are actually uh, HPI Racing uh, oval wheels that they use in their their old track car they had uh, way back when. So and they they fit really well. They're basically your standard size touring car wheel and touring car tire. So. They perform really well. They grip really well, uh, especially this thing being a uh, on 2S. It's a 4,500 kV uh, four-pole brushless system, <clears throat> and it's got uh, a aluminum motor mount. I have this one has, still has the stock uh, spur and pinion on it. I believe the spur gear is plastic, and I think the pinion gear is just a, a regular metal one. This one over here has a hot racing metal spur gear and metal pinion gear that go together so we'll, I'll show you that when we get to it as for the remote I actually decided to use this on a uh, Tactic TTX 300 remote so it's got a nice a lot nicer feel than the stock remote did 
<clears throat> and uh, so that it, plus it's a it's a nice small small receiver, so it stays out of the way. And you just, it's got a little here's the ESC power switch, little micro servo under here. The other thing I did add to this, which actually I got recently, T-Bone Racing, believe it or not, makes a few parts for the <clears throat> uh, Tacon vehicles. So they make uh, a bumper and rear bumper for the Thriller, which this is. The Soar, and I believe it's mostly for the Soar and the, uh, th the Thriller itself. And the nice thing about this bumper is it bolts in between this mud flap mount plate <clears throat> mount, uh, bar and it mounts in between the actual bumper itself. Now the nice thing is pushing on it with full force what actually moves first is this aluminum shock tower. So this is a very very nice piece and it wasn't very expensive either. So definitely a nice little, <clears throat> little add-on for the uh, Tacon Thriller. And the other thing with being that this body uh, just designed the way it is, what makes it nice as well uh, is <clears throat> originally you could see all in through here. So this rear bumper skid plate kind of hides a lot of it and blocks out the space to look at more, make it look more solid. So anyway, that's that. Now, <clears throat> as far as speed goes, I believe I've had this close to 30 miles an hour on a, 2S, on a little 2S and the stock system. It's a very nice truck. Uh, and I believe when I bought this, it was 200 shipped, I think. Just about $200 shipped. Uh, I bought mine from eBay. Um, you can also buy them uh, from Nitro RCX directly. Uh, Nitro RCX is a little more expensive, but <clears throat> it was. But eBay ships a little bit faster, so that was that was my my personal reasoning. Um, also, when I'll get into it when we get to the Valor, LC Racing makes a lot of aluminum upgrade parts to fit these chassis. There's uh, aluminum hexes and a few other things I, I can't remember to, right off the top of my head but there are quite a few upgrade parts for these as well to make them even better so for the price and value definitely definitely uh, a fun little truck to have <clears throat> now moving on to my thriller or I'm sorry Valor this was recently converted into the LC Racing Truggy version because originally it was a shorter wheelbase chassis and and was a monster truck which for the way it was designed it looked a lot like a miniature um, savage you know short wheelbase big tires the funny thing is the stock tires that came on the Valor originally were looked a lot lot like these uh, trenchers they were kind of like their own knockoff of that <clears throat> now as you can see mine are mine are painted uh, they're these were painted a long time ago, but they still kind of fit with the theme I have for the body. Uh, what I've done is it's got a flat, flat finish to it, and only the windows are, are glossy. Just something kind of different. And if you notice, uh, I've done the same thing here with the, uh, the Valor. It's got a kind of like a, kind of like a matte satin finish to it. Uh, I just kind of like to make it look like this. I'm not really a fan of truly shiny bodies anymore. <clears throat> anyway, so moving on over here to the Valor. So you can see I have the same uh, motor fan, and what I ha actually I run this on a Spectrum system on my big Spectrum DX4C. So that's why it has the different remote. You can see it also has Dean's. <clears throat> I'm sorry, different receiver. Now for this chassis, this was actually a Thriller chassis, the same one that's this. So what I had to change was the chassis plate. The uh, side nerf bars, which you can see, I clipped these off to fit with the <clears throat> Truggy body. Also, what will need to be changed if you do a conversion, as I did, will be this top, this top brace that the receiver sits on. And if you can see it in there, the red aluminum uh, drive shaft. <clears throat> I believe, other than that, that's all I changed. So, <clears throat> and it wasn't that expensive. I believe I spent thirty dollars. Uh, for the um, uh, the conversion parts, 
and the Valor was actually cheaper, being it's on the smaller platform. The Soar and the Valor are on the short platform, and then the Thriller short course truck, the Calvary Desert Buggy, and the Ranger um, Rally Car are all normally on the longer uh, platform. <clears throat> Again, brushless as well. And also, being that I did a conversion to the Truggy, I went ahead and switched out to this uh, Truggy and Buggy front bumper. Uh, the monster truck had larger bumpers, obviously, for just the design of it. I don't, there is, there is no rear bumper for this, being a Truggy. <clears throat> but, um, also very nice. I, I kind of like having the, you know, the really high center of gravity, the big tires, got the, the spoiler on it, and, <clears throat> and also, you know, it's just, it's a nice, it's a nice little, it, it's a nice little basher. So, sorry, I had the truck out of view there. Uh, now, for this, what I've done, too, is uh, sometimes I'll use, I have a smaller Venom 2000 milliamp lipo. It doesn't fit as, doesn't fit the, uh, the same length as the longer Florian battery that's in the Thriller. So what I've done is taken just a little bit of Velcro, put it on here on the chassis and on the battery as well to help it sink, cinch down onto there, just to keep everything nice and snug. <clears throat> and then here's my antenna off of the uh, ESC, or the receiver, I'm sorry. I had to kind of cinch that up so it's not flopping around. <clears throat> but also a nice truck. Now, what I'll show you here, I do have one of the newer, one of the upgrades from LC Racing. And they are red aluminum uh, hexes. So that's one of the niceties that come with the upgrades. Also, I believe what, what you can get are the knuckles <clears throat> and the uh, hub carriers, front and rear in aluminum. Uh, and I believe you can also get the rear hub carriers, <clears throat> excuse me, um, back here because they are also plastic. There are, like I said, there are a couple things. Uh, you can get the rest of the steering bell cranks in red aluminum. And I, 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 like I said, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there are quite a few things you can get. <clears throat> now, just to note, the brushed versions will be obviously less expensive because the brushed versions come with a plastic chassis. Uh, they have plastic shock towers, plastic bodied shocks, uh, obviously a brushed motor, brushed ESC. So <clears throat> if you do ever look into picking one of these up, bear that in mind. <clears throat> now, being that these are 14th scale, uh, these obviously are kind of, without being without it being truth, truthfully intended, but these are about the same size as the Traxxas uh, Mini Slash, uh, the Mini Revo, and the Mini Summit. <clears throat> now, that being said, I had the Valor first, and I, when it was still a monster truck. And I also briefly owned a Traxxas Mini Revo. Now, <clears throat> being that the Mini Revo has the GTR style shocks, you know, front and rear, <clears throat> it's all the cantilever style suspension, um, and just the way it's set up with the batteries are, are higher up into the, into the chassis and everything's stacked a bit higher. And that's with brushless. That was a brushless version as well. And I ran at a local track here. It was a Delta RC Raceway in Antioch. <clears throat> and I ran both cars on these tires. Same battery, same tires, same course. And the Mini Riva would flip upside down constantly. It would flip over, it would land well, and just my personal opinion for the price these Tacon Minis are in fact better. Now I understand <clears throat> some people will you know, be Traxxas and you know, will be <clears throat> loyal to one brand and, and that's fine. But just on a mini platform I feel like these are, are better designed. Even when my when I, I had a, a Mini Slash <clears throat> at one point and it flipped over constantly. So then I switched it over to a Mini Revo. It did all the suspension, tires, everything. <clears throat> Same thing. And later when uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I believe I bought, a, a friend of mine gave me one, his was a mini Revo brushless, and like, again, like I said, it was the same thing, they ran the same tires, and it's just, I was not impressed. Uh, I, I feel like, you know, for the value, like I said, these are in fact better, these are no more than 200 or $205, whereas <clears throat> the mini Revo 
is, I believe, still in the 300s, brand new. So, personally, I say go with these. Um, again, there's also a desert buggy, which has like a kind of like an exo cage design, similar to the Axial Exoterra. There's also a Ranger 12th scale rally car, which has a full full body. It's on the longer platform <clears throat> that normally comes with a Thriller. And there is also, if I remember, the smaller 14th scale, same scale, the Soar uh, buggy, which is shorter, and the Valor is a shorter. Now, that being said, if you uh, look around on eBay or online, you can also find the LC Racing versions, which they have a RTR Truggy, which will have this body, this spoiler, will have more of like a mini pin style tire and more of a solid wheel. They also make, which I've had my eye on, a one tenth scale touring car. <clears throat> now, obviously, that would just be with a larger body. And now I've put these next to my uh, one tenth scale HPI Sprint 2 drift car, and they're about the same size. So they do make a 10 scale touring car, which I've had my eye on. It has a 60 amp ESC and same motor, but I believe these have uh, a 30 or 35 amp ESC. So the 60 amp is just to be able to allow you to run, run more power through it with a different battery, being it's a little bit bigger. Uh, but yeah, it's got, you know, touring car style, true touring car wheels, a full body, uh, so that I've had, I'm keeping my eye on probably next year. But, <clears throat> back to the review at hand, uh, so that is my review of the Tacon Thriller and Tacon Valor, um, short course and truggy converted monster truck. Uh, these trucks are really, really fun, they're really fast. Uh, on 2S, they're, 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 they're fast enough. Now, you can run these on 3S, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, very nice trucks. Very happy with them, and I do not regret owning either one of them. These are definitely in my collection, stay for quite some time. Well, alright guys, thank you for tuning in to another video from the RC Gearhead. Alright, take care.